Hello, Sean. Hello, Emma. It's Hello. lovely seeing you today. Hello, How Barbie. are you? We're good, Barbie. Can we just say your name a lot? I think yeah, I'll every please. Yeah, <laughs> we're obsessed with you. We're matching with Emma today, you see? Yeah. I'm casting for Deadpool 4, actually. We need oh, to okay. talk. Good, because I'm looking for sequel ideas. So thank you for giving me one. Amazing. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Congratulations, because this movie is hilarious. It's irreverent. It's so funny. It's epic. I want to know basically everything. But how was that 17-minute voice message from Hugh? Couldn't this guy just call you, Sean? Yeah, he, he's a strange <laughs> one, that Hugh Jackman. A lovely man, but he loves an audio text. And so we sent him the script, and he sent us a 17-minute... Like 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Have I you ever sent I a think message any voice like that? Over five minutes should be illegal. And Frankly, just, over 45 did seconds. You, did you fast forward it or not? No, because. You didn't even 1.5 it? Two. Listen, Ryan and I are middle aged men. We do <laughs> not on. understand technology. No, we didn't even 1.5. The hottest middle aged guys. But in around minute number 13, Hugh articulated a feeling about the script that was so important. Yeah, uh, the this. question was, he goes, why this, Logan? I need to be clear, why this, Logan? Why does this story need this, Logan? Uh -huh. And we realized we had not answered that enough in the script, and we rewrote the whole script, and we answered it. No way. And that's where that whole idea came from. So I'm grateful for the 17 yeah. minutes. Hey, Matt, yeah. what was the longest um, message that you have ever sent? I think I, I always keep them under five. Because I think if I'm over five, then it's basically an audio book. It should be illegal, that's true. Yeah. Emma, what is the thing that fans are going to be like super surprised about this movie? Like the most surreal thing they're eventually going to get? Um, I think they'll be surprised that I think the movie at its core is about really about love and friendship. Mm -hmm. Where I don't think that maybe they'd expect that from the other Deadpool films or generally mm -hmm. maybe Marvel films. So I think that that's... I think that's one of its leading uh, characteristics as a film. People always talk about Deadpool being subversive, mm. and it is. But I think the subversive, surprising aspect of this is you expect the funny, yeah. you expect the action, but I'm not sure people are expecting the heart. To actually be moved by it mm -hmm. in so a way that will... I want to know, how many Disney jokes are there in the movie? Like, did you fear for your life? Come on. Every time we turned in the script, or, or every time <laughs> we shared an edit, we would sort of sit back... How did you manage they for them never, to accept they everything? Never, they never limited us. They understood that for Deadpool to be Deadpool, everything had to be on the table. And also, I think in Deadpool, if Deadpool laughs at something, uh -huh. that's kind of, in a way, glorifying it. You it's know? like a show of respect. It's a show uh -huh. of respect. If you make it as a joke into a Deadpool film, you've that's it. So Ryan kept the music box from Logan, from Deadpool 2. Did he take any souvenir? From set Did you this steal time. a memento, Emma? No, I didn't. I'm oh. sure what you have not taken, the finger prosthetics. Well, right? I, re I realize now I should have. <laughs> I wanted to frame one of the fingers. I'm going to make this happen. You need to make it because happen. Because Barbie is planting this idea. It's like Inception. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She's incepting the idea. I'm going to send you like a model of your oh, hand yeah, with, with the fingers. these Cassandra note. Oh. Coincidence? Oh my god. It's Cassie, that's Cassandra. Oh, this is my superpower, guys. How awkward was going to the restroom? <laughs> yeah, incredibly awkward. Luckily, uh, one of my best friends was my costumer, my dresser, who helps me with my costume every day. So mm -hmm. just meant we got to know each other very, very well, even better, because she really had to come into the bathroom with me and help me. <laughs> so there were like many rumors about this movie, you know, the Barbie cameos. Barbie clearly doesn't want, doesn't those want to details. dig it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brad Pitt, and supposedly I heard like Taylor Swift, but honestly, which was like the wildest rumor you heard about Deadpool 3? Uh, you know what it was? We were we were early in the shoot and I saw online that uh, King Charles uh -huh. was in the movie. That was a real That was rumor? a no real way. that was a real rumor. Where did that come from? I don't know where does it all come from. Back just, in Kampala. It, because you played like, oh, Princess Diana. Diana's in it. Yeah, so oh, maybe there was way, a little bit of in it. The you best, amazing. right? <laughs> yeah. The, I think it's remarkable that two different actors played Diana very differently oh, yeah. and both brilliantly. She's One of my favorite shows, by the way. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I know that you were inspired by Christopher Waltz to mm -hmm. play a billion. And I want to show you because in Argentina, we have now. Probably it's the most famous character now came out from Big Brother. Her name is Furia, which is would be like rage. And I was thinking that maybe she can play this girl, Cassandra, sister, in the sequel. 
Because I actually... Oh my god! Oh, wow. Look at her! Doesn't she look like wow. Cassandra? Oh my god, That's, the neck tattoo. We missed a trick I mean, that. that. We should have considered that. Furia. 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 Like Furia. Fury. Yeah. Fantastic. From Big Brother. Gran right, Hermano. So your outfit gave me a sequel idea. And now Furia He's gave me, me another sequel. Look at that. I wonder if you're char charging for these, yeah. Sean, eventually. No, screenwriting <laughs> credit for you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much Thanks. for this time. And I can't believe like your family is from Argentina. You just I mentioned know. me that. Yeah, I had a, we had our family reunion for the first time ever. All my relatives flew over to London and we all met and had a huge picnic in a park. And yeah, it was amazing. I had a uh, mate. Mate! Mate for the first time. Don't tell them that I brought Wolverine and Deadpool mates to try themselves. You did? Yeah, I did. With their faces and everything. You're kidding! Yeah! If they don't finish it, bring it back yeah, to please. us. Yeah, please. I will. Next time I'm going to bring you a mate. Do you like mate? I love mate. It's good. It's sweet or...? Bitter. Bitter. Yeah, bitter yeah. sour. Yeah. I actually have sweet. You do? Yeah. <gasps> you know Argentina? Have you ever been there? I've never been. I need to go. Oh it's my insane. god, Emma! We're going to bring I'm you sorry. there. I know, I'll come. And we're going to take you out. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby.